let, let how, where are you at in terms of uh, of your marketing and starting to deliver product? The the first products will be delivered in March two thousand fifteen. So okay. that's next year. Okay. And after March, we will produce in few months the what is the rest of this quote of one hundred pieces. Okay. And later on. The production of this uh, normal commercial stuff will proceed. So later on, uh, the normal or let's say standard boat of quadrofoil will be produced. Okay. This is all being what? Manufactured, I assume, in Slovenia then? Yes. Yes. Uh, more or less is produced everything in Slovenia. Also, some products are. Uh, Let's say some smaller products are also produced in Europe, but this is all, let's say, from the production line is every, more or less everything developed in Europe. Okay. So uh, it's charge, high quality. Yeah, charge, run time on the battery uh, is, I think I remembered what, something like an hour or hour and a half? Hour, it will be if you buy a commercial vehicle for 15,000 euros. Okay. But this one, which will be uh, Quadrofoil Q2S, will have two such packages of batteries, okay. two times the capacity. All right. With such an engine, if you are driving with full throttle, that means that you're driving in between one and a half hour up to two hours. Okay. But if you will drive it with more uh, efficient driving experience, up to 70%, let's say, of the efficiency uh, of the consumption, so in that case, you can drive even around three hours and even more. So okay, and that's with such, with, with and such that's a driving, with, you can uh, achieve the the length of one hundred kilometers. It will be the okay the or length for sixty miles, roughly for people. Yeah, that sixty miles. That's that. right. So charge time. Then, are you have provisions for doing quick charging of the battery? Are you looking at maybe re battery replacement? Because I'm yes. thinking in terms of either. You know, a, uh, a, a marina that wants to rent this out or a tour operator. Um, yes. What, how, you know, they obviously want to keep this thing going, uh, you know, yes. to make money and pay for it. Uh, so what are, your, what are your thoughts on, on quick charging and that type of thing? We have done it all. So okay. what we have think is first uh, the... For let's say if you are uh, using this boat for your personal uses and you use it let's say for just few uh, driving hours or something like that, in that way you just come to the port, you plug it into the electricity with special charger and you fill it up into two hours okay. approximately. In this two hours time you cannot drive. So that means if you are satisfied with that okay, kind of way, it is okay, but in the commercial uses, this will be not appreciated because they cannot rent it or right. something like that, or they cannot use it in between that time. For that kind of use, you buy additional package of batteries, okay. which is at that time when you're driving, it's filled on the port. And you are just driving and then come to the port, you have special quickly changeable batteries, you just put it out of the boat, replace it with this new one and you drive further on. So in that way uh, you will not have any uh, lost time when you are uh, having let's say uh, renting or something like that. You will just customer will just come to the shore just two minutes and you replace them with additional new one and then drive. Right. So it will be really really quickly char uh, replaced. Okay, now I'm assuming that all of this is based on uh, the essentially 220, 240 volt that is standard in Europe, correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, that's now right. for uh, those of us in the more primitive western... <laughs> yes, the charger western should country. be different. Yeah. The charger in that way should be different. That's, that's it. But all the rest will stay the same. Okay. Just the charger will be different. All right. Well, yeah, what I'm saying, though, is that typically what's available oftentimes is 110 volts, 120 yes, volts, no. uh, which I assume would essentially double the length of time to, to do the charge. 
That's why I want to, to give to such customers different kind of charger. Okay. So to we know that the time is really crucial in this way. So right. we want to, to do it as efficient as possible. So how big is the battery pack? If you're talking about taking and people manually lifting batteries, you know, they're up next to the dock, the boat's moving, maybe the dock is moving. So how, how difficult is that to replace those batteries? First of all, this boat is, it performs like pontoon. So okay. it's flat all the time. Okay. And it's really, really stable because hull is so constructed, even if one guy is standing on one side and then coming off, it just bends for, let's say, five centimeters, nothing more. Okay. It, it is not like a normal V hull. So it almost, almost, it's almost stable. Okay. But when you are replacing these batteries, the batteries weigh around 25 kilograms. Okay. So that means that one uh, adult can just carry them out of the boat without can, any kind of problem. You just put them out, replace them with additional, you just slide them into the special uh, place, you just slide them on, locked, and that's it. Okay. You don't have to use any kind of tools, even for removal of the hydropoles. You will have a special clamping system, which will be like quick release, and you just put it on, slide it on, just Clock it and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Nothing more. Well, sounds like you put an awful lot of thought into this. So yes, a lot, a lot of thought in where, details. If, if people want to take and take one for a test ride or look at one, obviously yes. this is going to be, I'm assuming, in in Europe first. Um, yes. Where where might they? Do they have you know come down to Slovenia or what? Um, what? Yes, I know. I know that we have. Every day in the same question <laughs> from thousands and thousands of persons yep. who would like to drive it. Yep. So uh, I know that at this moment uh, uh, we will give this opportunity uh, later on, let's say in the start of March, in something like start of March, we will go to some place or a little bit warmer like this here in Slovenia, maybe a little bit southern. Uh, to let's say to Greece or something like that and right. then we will have more boats at that point to to show it also to the right. uh, uh, public and also to the um, televisions reporters and so on and uh, later on our network of distribution will have we will cover all around the world so the distributor will have later on on their uh, countries or regions they will have uh, such a kind of uh, testing times and to show it to the public and so on that everybody can can enjoy and see in reality how it looks like how otherwise i would not work on the in this uh, time on the preparing the production process for everything but I will just drive people all around all the time. So sorry, guys, and sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, I'm really, but in that field, we we know that we will do much better if we produce them 100 at that time, and all these 100 will uh, be shown to the public or to the customers and so on. And later on, we are also planning to have special, uh, how would I say, modified trucks. We would like to have five of them, and each of them will have five hydrofoils, uh, quadrofoils inside. Right. And they will go, let's say, on cruising all around different countries, different um, regions of the world, and uh, on different times will be on different locations that the customers can... Uh, have the opportunity to see it, to test it, to right. drive it, and even order it at that time. Okay, very cool. What? Uh, how are you guys financing this? Is it all uh, private capital at this point? Yes, at this point it is. Okay. Uh, but later on, now we have also a lot of investments who are coming to our company. Okay. And uh, with these investments, um, investors also, we will... Uh, 
what we are already uh, doing on uh, new factory capa uh, capacity. So we are expanding our volume a few okay. hundred times bigger and so on. Okay. Uh, because we must do it in that way uh, just to, how would I say, to be prepared for so big interest in this product and we must really expand in really short time so right you're now doing everything just on that field yeah so are you looking for uh, still in uh, capital or are you good with wh where you're at we are always looking for capital okay. why not <laughs> who isn't <laughs> all right who well isn't? just in, just in case somebody's watching this and they want to yes. know so yes Very why not cool. we are always open for investments or investors who have uh, opportunity to support us and uh, to see this uh, boat in the future because we are already compared with Tesla what is Tesla now on the streets we are compared into into the to the sea or lakes or rivers because until now we are the first one starting in that area and right. we know this market is really wide open so yeah yeah you are also mind open guys and we like to hear for such suggestions from all around the world and also the investments uh, are also appreciated. Why not? Absolutely. Great. Hey, Simon, thank you so much for uh, for taking the time with us and uh, I look forward to uh, you guys getting this thing uh, you know, out and a little wider and uh, seeing how the public accepts it. Sounds like you've got some great acceptance already. Yes, yes. We have a lot of stuff uh, already in our minds and also we are starting uh, the, the design sketch and construction of one seater and also four seater. Oh, okay. So you will hear a lot, a lot of us really soon. So All right, great. be prepared for something what is already coming. All right, great. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for your time. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.